Hey guys, this is X2 coming to you with my perfect imperfections. Oh, uh, I thought this was a great tag. I had to get in on this one because I feel like everyone has something about them that they wish um, was not an imperfection. So, uh, for me, I'll start with my three issues that I that I have. And that is my skin. I have eczema really, really bad. And it usually stays just in my on my leg area, uh, which is really an awful situation for me because I can't wear the short little skirts that I would like to wear or some shorts that I would really like to wear. Uh, so for me, that is a very big issue, my uh, skin. But this year, it has um, got as far as my arms. And I know you've seen on a few of my videos where you see those dark spots. Oh my God, I hate it. Really, really hate it. But I have eczema really, really bad. So it seems to be spreading up. So I usually, when I go to the dermatologist, he likes to give you the steroid things. And that stuff makes you gain weight. Girl, I tell you, one time I was taking those uh, steroids to uh, calm this stuff down. And it worked really good. Like the first two days, I mean, it went down. It wasn't itching. It was almost like, and then all of a sudden that scale said, woo, woo. I said, oh, no. I stopped taking them pills. I said, hey, hey, what's going on with these pills? I mean, what's going on? I'm gaining weight. He was like, well, it was a steroid. I'm like, oh, okay. Well, I throw that thing down the sink. I can't, mm -mm, can't do it. So that's one of my issues. And that is my skin. Awful, awful skin. I hate this. I'm, I think a lot of mine is also triggered by some of the things that I eat. I love food. Love it. Love food. So, if it's stuff that I know I shouldn't be eating, like dairy products and nuts and all those different things, and washing with perfume, so you know, I'm a girly girl, I like to smell good and all that old stuff. And I, you know, try to sneak away that stuff and bam, every time this break out in a big old bump, it's just awful, awful. But I need to stop being so doggone hard headed and just go ahead and do what I'm supposed to do. But can't help it. I want to smell good too. You know, use all those pretty little soaps. <sighs> My second imperfection is I don't have a butt. I got a little bitty, just a little baby, little bitty baby bump. I like to have some hips and some, and a. <sighs> I'm going to tell you, I know the Lord knew better than give me a padonka donk because he already know. Boy, I wouldn't be a bit of, he already know. This girl, see, this girl ain't going to act right. So, I'm going mm -mm, to give her some girls, but I ain't going to give her all the rest of her because she going to clown. And he was right. I would, I would be, girl, I'd be naked all the time. I'd probably be on that pole. I, no way, no way. <laughs> no way. Oh, that's number two. What is my third imperfection? My third imperfection would be, um, probably the fact that it's real easy for me to hurt someone's feelings by telling the truth. I'm so blunt and I'm cutthroat. I, I take, I try to cut your, your juggler if you say something that's real stupid or if it's something a loved one of mine that I know that is just jack the hell, um, I'm very blunt. I don't take. I I can't help it. I can't stand. I didn't got too old for it. I'm just. I I don't have patience for bullshit. I'm just gonna be out there. I'm just gonna tell you. Uh, so can you tell you if you if you cut me or if you say something too stupid and, and I, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop you right there at the gate. I ain't gonna even let you get it all out. I'm gonna just say tell you real quick and you're gonna be real mad at me real quick because a lot of times people just don't like to hear the truth. So, I, that's my third imperfection. That's why a lot of times I bump heads because I'll let you go so far. But when it's just start just going too far, I have to stop you real quick. Hey, you know what? You too old for that kind of shit. You need to stop. It don't make no sense. Where do you get this bullshit from? I mean, I'm just awful blunt when it comes to stupidity. I can't stand it and I don't like you in my circle. Don't even come near me. But that's just a very, very, I guess it's a good thing, but it's also a bad thing for me. Because people just get turned off when they don't want to hear the truth. So that's fine with me. Gone. Peace in my area.
I love some pizza all up in mine. So, those are my three imperfections. Let's see what I can tell you about my three things that I love about me. I love the fact that I love life. I love life. I love getting up every day and know that I have an adventure that I'm going out here to do. I don't care if it's just in a form of because I'm a real homebody and I don't hang around a lot of females. That's just not me because... I watch my sisters and they hang around a whole bunch of females and there's some stuff popping off all the time and I ain't got time for this. So I'm a real homebody. I've always been that way. I like to hear the shit from a distance. I watch it all on YouTube <laughs> all the time. So I like to sit back and just be like shaking my head. But um, as far as it being, in, mm -mm, I like to just be a homebody. I love being in here in my own space with drama free just chilling with the babies just chilling with my grandbabies i love it just love that part about me i love loving um just life i just love it. i love being a female i just love oh um, just love loving people i i love everybody i don't care who he is that's one of the things that uh mess people up about me because i mess around and you'll see me talking to somebody with some mud on them because i don't care what you look like if you fuck up and talk to me be prepared for me to get the talking back to you I mean, why are you talking about why not why not that's just me number two things i like about me i like the fact that I have some girls, it ain't real, real big, but it's better than having nothing at all, especially since I ain't got no butt. <laughs> Number three, what do I like about me? That I will work uh, a million jobs, and, and I just like the fact that I've just been blessed to always be in the arena of always having a job and uh, being able to buy absolutely any and everything that I want um, when I want to buy it. I just like to stay focused and we'll work a uh, double. I'll work as much. I work every day because I like the fact that I'm stacking. I like to do it because that's just me. I just. I've been blessed to always be in a position to in a position. I know the economy is really bad right now. My blessing for me is what I'm saying is I've been blessed to uh, have always had a wonderful job. So and hold them for nice long, you know, because I'm not a spring chicken. I ain't going to even act like I am. So but uh, I've been uh, doing pretty good for myself. So I, I just want to thank God for letting me. Uh, have the the goal and the desire to want more, need more, um, just and and try to help who I can in my family because I don't hang around a whole lot of people, so I ain't got to worry about too much of the world. But as far as um my family, I'm I'm always in a position to help them if I need to. So I think I love that part about me as well but those are my three things that i love about me i am a very giving person uh uh i i i'm a very truthful person and it gets me in trouble but at least i i can say that that's a quality that gets me in trouble that i lack so those are my three things that i like about me thanks for watching you guys bye